guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Datadog. But before we begin, let me inform you few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platform which offers DevOps, cloud and containers technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. Okay, so what is Datadog then? So basically, a Datadog is one company name uh, which got introduced in and founded in 2010 by Olivier Baumelex and Alexis. So initially, they were focusing on the infrastructure, infrastructures, server monitoring. But later, slowly, they got migrated to uh, APM site and log monitoring and stuff like that from the last few years. So this is kind of their journey. By the way, uh, Datadog is a cloud-based application, a cloud-based service, I means software as a service. Okay, that means if you ask me, Rajesh, I want to install Datadog server, then I would say no need to install because it's online service, it's a SaaS-based uh, platform. So you have already the platform available and uh, just you have to collect the uh, the matrices collect the uh, all the traces and all store it at a datadog SaaS and there only you explore analyze alert and dashboard so that is something a kind of platform so it's a SaaS based software all of you are understanding it right right so no server setup no maintenance work and all so how do you go inside that so it's like a free account you can get it for 14 days or something and then get started so why do it all so here very simple way i'll put it see uh, of course you need to need some platform but for what a platform for observability now so you need certain functionality Okay, you need some certain functionality. Uh, the tool should be providing it to you. And what you need, so Datadog is providing certain functionality. Okay, what you and me needs for setting up observability. But not only that functionality should be available, uh, but also it should be easy to use manner actually. Okay, it should be easy to use manner. Okay, so that is a one more thing. So it should be easy to use manner. And if someone wants to replicate the same functionality what Datadog provides it, then it's very, very, it's very difficult. So that's the reason we are using Datadog, very simple thing. Okay, so you will say, you'll ask Rajesh what functionality Datadog will provide. So guys, I have a hell lot of functionality, but here just at a high level, uh, Datadog, because I told you very clearly, uh, it's a SaaS based software. So it is providing one of the superb agent which can collect the matrices, traces and logs and send it to Datadog. Very, very easy. Uh, uh, the agent which is a very, uh, you know, easy to use and uh, very effective agent. Datadog also provide uh, the integrations also that more than 500 integrations are available. Now you will call me what is integration. So see, when you install the agent, think in a simple way, okay. When you call the when you install the agent, uh, it will collect some of the basic metrics. Basic metrics means it will collect the CPU, RAM, network, you know, disk and all. These are basic metrics. Every server you install, these are the basic metrics. But it will not. Uh, but Datadog, we have no idea about what applications you are running in that particular platform. You may be running Apache, Nginx, Tomcat, JBoss. You know, IS, WebLogic, WebSphere, MySQL, Postgres, you know, thousands of applications are there, thousands of applications. So he may not be available knowing that agent may not be knowing what other tools which, which you want a matrix. So, and for that, what Datadog has done it, they have uh, 
uh, develop integration that means any tools which you want just go ahead integrate it and agent will start capturing those additional tools and services as well okay so that functionality data dog have it and you have a events monitoring also one of the superb dashboard you have it i'll teach you i think uh, dashboard will go into the fifth day session or fourth day uh, second half or something so an alerting one of the most advanced alerting mechanism you can find at datadog so these are the functionality you get on datadog the same functionality actually you need it for setting up observability you need a superb agent you need a hell lot of integrations you need event management you need dashboard you need alerting and the beauty of datadog is easy to use it i'll teach you how to configure agent and you'll find it very easy i'll teach you how to uh, set up integrations and all events dashboard alerting all these things are very easy to use at datadog so you'll not find complexity you will not get lost and stuff like that but again if you want to develop your own capability as such it's very hard to replicate there are many software available in the market open source and all but if you combine together see your priority is not to develop a monitoring solution or, or and observability platform your your priority is to develop your software test your software and release your software right so yes datadog is providing a functionality what you need it which is very easy to use it and hard to replicate yes of course there are so many products which we have in the market and datadog is one of the leading one make sense guys all of you all of you yeah so yes datadog can help you everywhere application availability application performance reliability network availability network performance reliability server availability server performance server reliability and stuff like that so datadog will help you and how do we get started so you don't have to worry about too much just stall the agent agent automatically starts sending the data to the datadog saas based platform and if you have different integrations you want to enable that you can integrate and get started in app so that means agent let it send all the data collect and send the all the data to the data dog and then you can start exporting the data analyze the data dashboard alerts and all this thing you can do that start troubleshooting it so it's very easy to use it this uh, image is outdated about the data dog high level architecture which is a saas based so you can just skip with this okay so yeah back end and agent so back in which uh, we have a saas based software at datadog hq.com and probably that is built in some d3 apache cassandra kafka and postgres uh, we don't have a too much of information available this is just a high level agent is a uh, flawless earlier the old agent was developed in python that was like a 6 of uh, 5.0 but the new agent which is 7.0 okay that is developed in go and if you know go go can run on any platform like that means uh, agent can be installed in the windows uh, linux all variants and uh, and uh, and mac also so yeah agent can be installed so yes this has a lots of feature you see that more than 500 built in integrations are available uh, right now on the slide you can see 400 but it it's keep coming so you, right now you have 500 integrations available that means 500 different tools or services or platform uh, of and the matrices which is of their platform or services or tools you can you can configure with the agent and agent will capture all this information and send it to the data dog so you can visualize and do the stuff so whatever you name it and you integration you will find it available now uh, you know just for the you know little bit of confidence book i mean uh, you if you have a curiosity you want to know which are the integrations so you see here just name it any any specifications guys you you guys have uh, about the integration what data you want to collect and monitor alert dashboard using data dog so you can see that i'm i'm, I'm scrolling down and it's a pretty huge list actually are you understanding all of you Yes, sir. Yes. So this is the one. So now, a lot of integrations available. You have a real-time interactive dashboards also. 
you have unified log management log monitoring right because you want to set up a observability so metrics is one thing which we is talking about agent and integrations and dashboard then logs you have to capture the logs also system log and applications log store it at one place and analyze it you need to have a next generation apm also trace monitoring monitor troubleshoot and optimize end to end application performance correct so this also you need to watch it and network performance monitoring also synthetic monitoring also user real user monitoring also actually what is synthetic monitoring okay so synthetic monitoring i'll have one dedicated sessions for it but just because i just want to give you some idea about it so synthetic monitoring okay let's start with the apm actually apm so apm see uh, i'll put it in this way i need to explain it just give you the context so you will you will not get confused going further so here this is what happens uh, this is user okay and this is their laptop devices and you type browser and travel to the dns server then your load balancer and then after that web app web server web layer and then you have a multiple app layer uh, now in the world of microservices you know multiple app layer you have it these all are app layer and then finally you have a database layer so this uh, concept you understand right all of you so correct now uh, this app layer there is one application running and there is a class 1 and class 2 and in this class i will not complicate too much method you write right multiple methods are there correct all of you are you okay class methods functions all of you understand that right in java java or any programming language the same something similar all oops concept you know yeah so guys the question was what is apm first question you should ask what is apm so apm will give you the all the response time between this to this between each class to this method to method this this to this this to this and this to this so internal traces whether how much time it got loaded milliseconds x milliseconds x milliseconds method to method x milliseconds 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 so here apm will help you to find out all the internal traces overall for the users and here this all information will be stored at the data dog where you can analyze it and see that where is the problem right now at a high level i'm teaching you we'll get into the detailing uh, upcoming days and get us up so did you understand the apm at least application performance management so these all are the traces actually so this is a one trace this is one trace this is one trace this is one trace this is one trace one trace like that all of you are understand hello yes sir yeah so that's called apm this is the real user okay but now next questions actually this question was you ask what is synthetic monitoring so synthetic monitoring at a high level there is a one there is a one machine robot okay and robot will keep hitting on your application front and whatever the response time this is this is not talking about the usability okay what exactly it's happening inside it no let's say well i want to know whether facebook.com is running or not so i will set up a synthetic because synthetic is robot can run 24 by 7 365 days a week at a certain interval but this real user cannot correct all of you so this is a synthetic monitoring you set up a robots sort of some tools are there which you set it up in the different different locations and this will hit the api end url it has no relationship inside what is happening and whatever the response you get it 
it will store and this is called synthetic monitor. So synthetic monitoring primarily is being used to check the uh, endpoint up and running or not, certificate check, SSL check, some, some validation on that particular page and stuff like that. Understood all of you? Yes, so it will keep on storing all the logs for all the hits, right? All the hits, the response, all the response, Datadog will keep storing it. And synthetic monitoring will be enabled only on uh, servers or uh, on or also on uh, services or only any these on servers. Any endpoint like HTTP or TCP, UDP, endpoint means HTTP dot 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 www devopschool.com or facebook.com or amazon.com. These are the endpoint or IP address also is the one point, endpoint. Any endpoint you want to monitor, primarily we are using. But nowadays, uh, synthetic monitoring is also getting involved. So synthetic monitoring typically is done by robots, like uh, tools. Uh, uh, APM, the traffic which is being done through the, the real user. Make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So because the real user can log in, register, use this, that, the services. So that experience we want to know. Uh, let's, let's say you search the mobile phone on Facebook dot uh, Flipkart .com. After that, you select the product, two microservices. After that, you go into the card, three microservices. After that, you make a payment, fourth microservices. After that, you get into the word, fifth microservices. Now we want to trace that. How was the response for each? Uh, that's called APM. That's called APM. How was the response for each between the each traces for that particular transactions? Make sense, guys? Yeah. Yes. So yes. yes, a real user monitoring. You may my heart about it. So actually, this is the application performance monitoring. This one I explained. But there's one more thing which is called real user monitoring. So real user monitoring, what happens? The real user accessing the endpoints instead of robot or tools. And this real user monitoring accessing this endpoint and uh, this will whatever the response so the real user monitoring always access the endpoint using the browser different different devices so here you'll get the response so real user monitoring you get here uh, synthetic you get here and internal all the traces you get here so combining all these three types of things you can understand the user experience actually how is that user is uh, experiencing your software for your platform and all stuff like that. Okay, so real user monitoring also is enabled at Datadog. You have an actionable alerting solution, very nice platform for setting up an alert. I'd never faced any issue setting up alerts here. API also, oh, everything is available on the API and stuff like that. So how do we get started? How do we get started? So yes, we have a website which is called datadoghq.com and uh, you can start with it. So it's so a 14 days trial period, you can get everything and you can get started. Now, after the 14 days period, you either you have to buy and you are free. So in the free, it will become a five node free and you see that compare free versus pro. So in the pro, you have a see like uh, infrastructure monitoring, log monitoring, APM, network, synthetics, RAM. Okay. So each one of these I want to teach you in the next five days. Okay, so that way you can set up observability completely. So if you if you see the free except infrastructure five node, rest of the things you can do. But in the pro, you have to pay for it. Again, it's a paid software. Now this uh, slide is only for getting an idea because uh, the latest price may be having some differences. So you can go to the website and check their latest price. In fact, you can customize your pricing also and you, you can calculate your estimated cost. So you can see that per node infrastructure is costing $18, APM 36 and blah, blah, blah. So it's like, uh, yeah, once you, you are at that uh, positions where you can take up a call for the sales and pricing, then probably this will help you. Okay, so now this is the form you have to fill. Okay, the everything is as, uh, as simple. But what I want, the first field which you see, uh, which is the reason, okay? So I would suggest you all to go for the region number one, which is United States, US, first one. 
because if you go for the second third and fourth region that means region depicts the data center basically so if you, you have a five region so far at the data dog uh, by now by today so any data center any region you select your data will be stored in that data center only so there are few regions we have in usa and few regions we have in europe in india we don't have any region so far okay hey, can you share the url over uh, chat I'll, I'll, I'll do that so just a second just just a second let me complete this yeah after this uh, you will be asked step number two which we want to monitor this is optional by the way you can select you may select and you may select and after that you will be asked to install the agent okay so this is something which we have to do that so agent will be installed in windows mac linux different platform of linux and agent will pick up those data send it to data dog and all sort of data you want to have it at a data dog website okay so you want to have infra data you want to have a log data you want to have apm data you want to have synthetic data you want to have a rum data i'll teach you how to send all this data at a data dog and after that start exploring it start analyzing it start creating the met, uh, alerts and dashboards okay so this is something which we will do that so right now i just want to continue showing this much only so i have a, a one more hour of discussions uh, pending on the agent side the agent which we are installing here uh, that we have to discuss in detail but right now i'm just ignoring this topic because i'll push it tomorrow morning about the agent by that time uh, when i will talk about the agent you will be comfortable with the agent using that so that way it will be more meaningful okay so the demo time now what to do so you have to go to the website which is called data.hq.com and here get started click on it you have to here i was asking uh, use this one only us one don't go for this one why uh, the reason is uh, if you go for the third fifth and this one every places you have to select the different data centers uh, so and this is the default us one is default you don't have to change anything so right now i don't want to introduce any complexities so you get lost so go for the us one and then fill this all this stuff here you can fill the company name uh, full name and all you can see if you think like you're, you're not supposed to send the company name you can feed the devops school and that should be good so after that i have already logged in i think yesterday or day before yesterday i created one account and this is the account so you see that 12 i think three days before i created so 12 days left in the trial so what i do typically for every sessions i create one trial account and use it for that only so i created this account already and uh, you also need to create it all of you understood that what need to be done now yes okay so now uh, this is the data data dog guys i talked about it what is data dog uh, why do we need it some of the you know uh, introductions of it and then the features of it and then how to register it how to get started it so now if you see that after the login if you get you see here uh, these all the things we have to get used to it so it's very simple don't get complicated here so here all the events will be stored here all the dashboard will be here all the infrastructure related uh, monitoring you can enable here here all these alerts in datadog we call it a monitoring okay so alerts incident and uh, slas and slos here you can explore the, all the metrics here you can integrate with the different 500 plus integrations this is for apm the one someone asked this is for uh, this is for run book it's a documentation this is for logs this is for security this is a ux synthetic and run so yes one by one we'll cover each and everything and get going so any questions any any doubts before i ask you all to create account and confirm in the chat box Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, 
AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, if you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC, kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlist and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy!